heartbreaking experience. Well, Bobby Davis, you were the coach of the Geelong side in 1963. Bobby, 40 years ago. Mm. Geelong haven't even won a premiership since. What's happened, Bobby? Tell us what's happened. Well, I suppose that I left because I was the last, <laughs> <laughs> because I was the last of the non-thinking coaches. <laughs> and uh, in actual fact, I was a lateral thinker <laughs> because who else would have a piano accordionist in the room before the game, taking the players' minds away from the game. <laughs> Nowadays, you know, you have to concentrate for three days. And Happy Hammond was allowed to run out with the team. Good, screw me, what would happen? Wayne would stop that all of a sudden, can't have fellas running on the ground. But it was, it was a marvellous, it was a marvellous time for Geelong because we'd, we'd been in the doldrums for quite a few years and just built a the rules were there to, well, to be broken, to be broken, you know, and, and we managed to put a team together in a very short time and I just put them out in the field and let them go. Well, Louis, you're the greatest ever Collingwood captain and you were captain in 1953 when you beat Geelong and Bobby played for the Cats in that year. Oh. Must have been a big thrill for you. Well, I'm, I'm pleased you said that I was the greatest captain ever because I was and you there's no about you that. Told, you told me to say it. Yeah. And... Uh, it's a great thrill to play in a grand final, whether you win or lose, but to win one and captain the side is a bigger thrill, as Bob will tell you. And uh, we played Bob's side. They were a fantastic team in 1951, 52 and 53. One of the best football teams that ever played uh, a VFL, or in those days, VFL football. But, you know, we had great players and uh, you meet a lot of people when you're playing football. And we, like, one of our great mates, Bob and I want to mention, is Jack Dyer. And of course, Jack Dyer was a, a, not only a great player and a great leader for Richmond, but just a great bloke and a very funny man, wasn't he, Bob? Because I can recall Bob, Jack Dyer going into the Herald office front counter and uh, saying to the fellow behind the counter, I want to put a death notice in. And the fellow said, that, that'll be uh, uh, $5.10 a, cent, a centimetre. Oh, Jack said, count me out. And the bloke said, why? Well, this bloke's 183 centimetres tall. <laughs> well, one of the other legends that played in that Collingwood Premiership side in 1953, of course, who also unfortunately passed away during the year, was the great Bobby Rose. Champion and a great bloke. And, uh, of course, sadly missed at Collingwood. He was part... He is, Bob Rose is what Collingwood's made of. What, well, there's no doubt about it. And the sort of fellow, the sort of fellow Bob was... He instilled the Collingwood spirit into the club, and uh, I'm quite sure our president, Eddie Maguire, will agree with that too. Well, thank you all very much. Our grand final greats, Paul Salmon, Michael Tuck, and Francis Burke, Bobby Davis, and Lou Richards. Well, from five sporting icons to a country music icon, please welcome John Williamson. Thank you, it's great to be here and I'm here to, to pay tribute to Jack Dyer, Bob Rose and Slim Dusty. Uh... Hey True Blue Don't say you've gone Say you've knocked off for a smoker and you'll be back later on Hey, True Blue Hey, True Blue Give it to me straight Face to face Are you really disappearing? Just another time Is it a cockatoo? Is it standing by your way when he's in a fight? Or will she be right? True blue, I'm asking you. Just 